So far, we've been controlling the feature display by manually toggling on and off the various features. Next, I'd like to talk about an important concept that you need to understand called feature definitions and feature symbologies. With feature definitions and feature symbologies, an important thing to remember is that what something is and what something looks like are separate things. When a train model is created, a feature definition is assigned to that train model, which tells a train model what it is. In that feature definition, there's a feature symbology that tells the train model how it's going to be displayed. And a part of that feature symbology, we use element templates and annotation groups to define the detailed display settings. So the line style, the color, the level, the line weight, all of those details are contained in the annotation groups, element templates, and the feature symbology, all together controlling how the train's going to be displayed. And then with the feature definition, defining what the feature is. Now let's look at how we use the feature definition to control the train display. Let's go back to our properties window and scroll up to the top of the window and select the train model existing train. Then in the feature sections down below, you may have to expand it in your view, you'll see the feature definition is existing boundary with a feature name of existing train. We want to change this feature definition to existing contours and triangles. So simply click in the field and it will expand out and select existing contours and triangles. And your display automatically updates showing both the existing contours and triangles just by changing the feature definition. You can zoom in and out of your view to get a closer look at the triangles and the contours that are displayed. For this next section, we want to zoom into an area where we can see a number of the elevation labels on the major contours. And let's set our feature definition to the existing contours. Let's take a closer look at the contour display. In a quick review, we're using a feature definition existing contours for this display. And remember that the feature definition defines what a feature is, and it points to feature symbology that controls how the features are displayed. So the major minor contours, the elevation text, are all controlled by the feature symbology using element templates and annotation groups. For the annotation here, if we wanted to make a quick change to that, without having to go back into the element template definition, we can quickly go to the Drawing tab, the Drawing Scales category, and use the Annotation Scale to quickly change that text. So I'm going to change mine from 1 inch equals 100 feet to 1 inch equals 50 feet, and you'll notice that immediately the text size changes and you can change that back just as easily and those are automatically updated as you make that change to the annotation scale. At this point you may like to take a few minutes and experiment with selecting different feature definitions and setting different scales for the text to see the results that you may get. Now that you've experimented with the feature definitions and annotation scales let's prepare for the next exercise. First let's go to the feature definitions and set it to existing boundary and then fit your view and you'll see the outline of the train model. At this point go up and do save settings on the top of the menu and that will conclude this exercise. If you found this video helpful please give it a like. If you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.